at least the views. And if you want to know the structure of a specific table, you can use slash dt. No, it's slash d. Okay, they're on the slides. Slash d, backslash d, uh, name of the table, and then you get the list of fields in, the, in one of the tables. So that's the package table. So you see that we import basically everything that is in the package files. Is it big enough? Probably. So who is trying that? Can you run to your hand? Uh, it's a low success rate. <laughs> so then let's try a simple query. Uh, yep. What's uh, Ryan email address? Is he Ryan something, no? Something like that. I think it's really. Oh, it doesn't mention anything, or it's okay. Okay, so that's the list of uh, fields because I use select star, and then you have uh, the data for each row, which is not really easy to read like that, so we can just do select, for example, source version, distribution component, and then you get, uh, well, let's use release. So get each package in each uh, Debian release. So it maintains. Oh. Yeah. So as you can see, we also import data from uh, for volatile, for example. So then another example, which is a bit more complex. So let's look at orphan packages, which is nice because it's not a too big table. So I'm quite sure that we want DOS uh, UDD using that. So so that's a list of orphan packages. So there's, I will just reduce it so it fits in this. I will remove the description. Uh, so stay back. <laughs> so there are columns for the source package name, uh, the type of orphanage, whether it's RFA, ATI, or O, and the bug number. And now what we could try to do is uh, join the orphan package table with Popcon to get the most popular orphan packages. So, well, that's the number, well, which is the number of orphan packages. So there's a table called Popcon SRC, which provides the Popcon for source packages. So, uh, well, just the same. So Popcorn is usually for binary packages. So if you want to use it for source packages, you have to, the most logical way to do that to stake the maximum Popcorn value over all the binary package of each source package. Uh, so that's the value that we have there. And there you have the num name of the source package. And so we can just do a query like that. So joining orphaned packages with popcorn SRC uh, using uh, o.source equals p.source and ordering by number of installation. So that's a rather simple SQL query to Sort that. 
Uh, well, it won't work anyway. So here we can see that well, there's a number of installations and the name of the orphan package. So as you can see, with a few uh, steps of SQL, you can really get information that would be really difficult to get otherwise. So that's the events bug uh, that is still not fixed and unstable. See, when you add the uh, slide before the last one and you type next, it goes to the end of the presentation. You have to go back, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, as you can see, UDD already works. Uh, there's not so many things remaining to do on it directly. Um, but we really need help now to, for, well, from people who would like to play with UDD, use it to uh, build new tools using UDD. So we actually knew what is missing in the database or what should be improved. Because Without using it, you don't. It's really difficult to discover whether you made a, a mistake in the in the schema by forgetting to imp to import one kind of data or by not formatting it properly so that you can join the table. Um, there's some work uh, about importers that still needs to be done. So the first one is to import uh, when I build, which which should be uh, a few hours of work at most because we have, there are dumps provided. Uh, uh, by when I build. Uh, there's also a Brittany. It would, be, it would be nice to import so we know why a package didn't mi migrate to testing. And the um, MIA status of maintainers so we know who is MIA. And the uh, big thing that needs to be improved is examples and documentation. So I hope that I will find a victim today that will come to me and say, OK, I'd like to work on that. Because the point is, um, it would be really nice it's if someone quite new to UDD would do that because it's a really nice way to learn about UDD. So, so currently we have some examples on uh, udd.debian.org. But uh, the general output is really ugly. So it's just text files. Uh, you need to go to the source to see the query. So it's just a matter of improving the rendering of all, all of this page. Um, so f to contact people about UDD, you can use IRC on Debian QA or the Debian QA mailing list. And that's the uh, URL where you, the basic URL where you find more information about UDD. Thank you. So, and <laughs> So any questions, comments, things that we forgot that we should import, stuff like that? Any victims that would like to improve? Uh <laughs> no, uh, one remark, I, I really like this DEHS uh, import, which is quite really new, but uh, I just learned that uh, the, the permissions are not uh, so I, I couldn't select from this table. <laughs> uh, to select on the Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> So it depends on the data source. So f for example, um, so for sources and packages, it's updated twice a day for uh, squeeze, seed, and experimental, uh, once a day for older releases. For Ubuntu, it's also once a day. For various simple things like DHS, Popcorn, Lintian, all it's once a day. 
uh, Debian bugs, it's four times a day. Uh, test migrations twice a day, because uh, Ritney runs twice a day as well, I think. Um, this. And basically, it's once a day for most, except for when there's a good reason to update it more often. Questions? Can you show again the, the open packages uh, by, uh, by process number? That one or the HTML page? Yeah, this one. Uh, the numbers don't match the popcorn numbers. Um, they should. This one matches, no? Yeah, it has a small difference. Yeah, it's about the same, but it's slightly different. I don't know why. Uh, maybe the yeah, strange. I'll check. <laughs> <laughs> I checked that all the package. The all the orphan package have a pop popcorn value. That's why I didn't use left join in the query because, but okay, maybe that's a, maybe that's, that's a bug. I don't remember how it works. The, uh, actually, no, that's not the one. Uh, So it gets gets this file. I'll check, but maybe this file is no longer updated. Popcorn was moved to another host, so maybe there's uh, something broken in the process. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll check. <laughs> Other questions? Can you think of something that we don't import yet and that we definitely should import? Oh, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, thank you.